You right, kids? It's Ross Clark. And here we go. Oh, exploit warning. It's a DEFCON 1. Yep. So strap in, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay till the end because I've got a little trick for you as well as showing you what this exploit is all about. And yeah, as I'm rotating, you can see something in my hand. The harpoon, the friend of the sea that nobody uses. But somebody has found out that there is a particular use for it. And here we go. Watch this. Here's a heavy turret underwater. Now my glamorous assistant Snow, he's now venturing out outside of turret range distance. And oh, yes, that did just hit that turret for that amount of damage. Oh my God. And yeah, obviously the same applies to auto turrets as well. There we go. There's those damage numbers. And of course, yeah, Plant X's face the same fate. Yeah, and I thought whilst we're testing it, let's try it out on a tech turret. I didn't think it'd work and sure enough, no, there's, there's no damage to a tech turret with the harpoon. However, yes, auto turrets and heavy turrets take damage from harpoons and from some distance you see my assistant there out in the distance see that dot that's how far you can be and still shoot heavies underwater which is pretty op my word i don't know whether this has been a thing forever that's always been in place or maybe a patch created this exploit but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nasty. I've just swam out to show you how far away from the turret I am. And look, I can barely even see the turret. That's how far away you can shoot it from. It's incredible. Now, of course, that's using a max harpoon and you're gonna get a varied level of damage depending on whether you're using that or primitive. And here's the damage numbers that you can get from primitive. But it gets worse guys, oh yes, because as you probably know, harpoons can also be shot outside of the sea, as you can see. <laughs> Heavy turrets can take damage from harpoon launchers wherever, in the sea, out of the sea. What I've discovered is that turrets take reduced damage if it's not in the sea. I assume this is something to do with the harpoon being able to inflict more damage when you're in the water. I can already see the panic alarms ringing, people going, oh my God, what is this? Why have you shown this? Why? <laughs> but it needs to be done. It needs to be shown, guys, because this is how wild card get to know about things in the quickest time possible. So let's get out there. Let's let everyone know. And let's see if wild card recognize it for what it is and patch it. But guys, I'm not just showing you this exploit as a way for you all to carry in fear and hide your sea base, hide your heavy turrets. I will never make a criticism if I don't have a resolution. What I've learned is you've got to be 22 foundations away from the heavy turret for it not to shoot you in order for you to shoot the turret. But on land anyway, you can certainly counter this exploit by placing a tech turret two foundations in front of your heavies and then it'll push your attacker further back to the point that you physically can't get the right angle to shoot them from like we like as you can see here like we've tried a variety of angles and as long as you've got a tech turret two foundations in front of your heavies they're not going to be able to hit them with the harpoons but yeah sadly in the sea big issues because harpoons travel in the sea. Oh my God, they do. Yeah, taking out heavy turrets out of range is pretty broken. I'm sure we can all agree on that. It's not good. Come on, wild card. What's going on here, man? As I said, to stick around until the end of the video, here's another little trick that I don't think a lot of people know about. If you're underwater and you pop on a gas mask, you get HD vision under the sea. So <laughs> combined with 
your new harpoon exploit. <laughs> Goodbye sea bases, <laughs> I think is pretty much the case. And there we have it guys. Good luck out there. Let's see if he gets patched. My name's Rice Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.